Everyone knows the brand Sharp, either from TVs or even back in the days computers, calculators or not so long ago smartphones. But did you know Sharp has a huge product lineup in 2022? I've got invited to the Sharp Roadshow on the IFA and it was blowing my mind. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and welcome to an overview of Sharp's latest products shown at the IFA 2022. Did you know Sharp got into e-mobility and their scooter lineup looks fantastic, but before we check them, look at this. An electric surfboard from Sharp. It's fully made out of carbon fiber, has a top speed of 45 km per hour, lasts 30 to 45 minutes with a 10 kW powerful motor. It's being controlled with a remote and it literally blew my mind. Of course I love scooters and I had to check them out. There are so many scooters on the market from various brands, but Sharp focuses on quality. Their scooters are very well built and come with all regulatory and mandatory security features as well as certifications. Now what's interesting is that Sharp updated their app and builds now an ecosystem. And I think that's very good and important because if you want to get more products of the brand, then you have one central app to control them all. I've tried two of the scooters, a normal one and an outdoor one. And with both, I was surprised how smooth the acceleration is compared to the cheap budget scooters you find on the market. Also, they come with indicators, something I haven't seen on scooters yet. So if you're looking for a brand new scooter, make sure you got Sharp on your list as well. So they've got a huge lineup from scooters for personal use, but as well concepts for scooter renting companies, as well as a kid's bike that I really fell in love with. But it doesn't stop here. I've also seen a Sharp e-bike which was foldable and even a robot lawnmower which looked pretty interesting. Of course, most of you know Sharp audio products. I had a soundbar myself from Sharp with great price to performance ratio. Sharp showed a lot of new soundbars as well as also rear speakers. But what most catched my attention was that little woofer that is super flat and fits perfectly in a console space or even under a couch. That's an absolutely cool product. But the latest trend are actually small, portable radios. There's a huge demand on those little things and Sharp's new Tokyo portable digital radio is pretty amazing. It's small, has beautiful colors and of course DAB Plus built in, but also Bluetooth. It can also be powered by USB or just with batteries. That was a perfect gift for my girlfriend. But let's talk about what every one of you was waiting for and that are the televisions. Sharp is going the right way and focuses on mini LED TVs. But why mini LED? Even though micro LED has been announced, it won't be available for smaller TVs and TVs you can actually afford. But mini LED is going to blow OLED from the market. OLED TVs have self-emitting organic diodes. That means there is no LCD panel. There are many small OLEDs that light up themselves, creating the picture. Now mini LED is a fancy form of a very high density LED backlight for conventional LCDs. You have many, many small LEDs behind the LCD panel, which illuminate the LCD. The benefit is much higher peak brightness that's necessary for HDR. OLEDs can't keep up with those brightness levels. Also, there is no risk of burn-in and due to much more zones than in conventional TVs, the screen looks much more evenly lit. In general, you can say for bigger screens like TVs, mini LED is the way to go in 2022. And I literally couldn't see a big difference in terms of black levels to my OLED TV. That was very impressive. Such a beautiful, crisp and vivid picture with perfect black levels but without any shortcomings like OLED TVs. I'm pretty sure when my OLED TV dies or gets burn in, I will have a look at the Sharp mini LED models. Of course, Sharp is also stepping up their game in terms of operating system and features. They now include Google TV and HDMI 2.1 for 120Hz for the new gen consoles and even 144Hz for using it for instance as a PC monitor. Those features will also come to the conventional LED LCD TVs that Sharp released on the IFA and the price point of those TVs seems to be very, very competitive. But we don't stop here, other than that Sharp has shown the new Sumo Box. It's a portable event speaker with battery integrated. It's really great for musicians or even outdoors as you don't need a power source but still have the full potential in terms of sound and connections. I've also seen some air purifiers and I really didn't know that Sharp has so many of them. But also Sharp built in a great technology and that's called the Sharp Plasma Cluster technology. It uses an ion generator, maybe you've heard that in some hair dryers, that releases positive and negative ions into the air. Now this technology sounds very complicated, but in short, those plasma cluster ions float through the room, 
surrounding airborne allergens, bacteria, mold and viruses and converting hydrogen molecules in their surface proteins into water. It's a very interesting technology and I think that's going to be the breakthrough for air purifiers. Now my personal favorite one was actually not an air purifier, it was an aroma diffuser which comes with an LED inside. So it looks like a little flame, a candle and I absolutely love this one. But overall Sharp surprised with a huge lineup. I personally think they will come back strong in the next years and I'm really excited for the products. I think we'll probably see also a lot of more home products from Sharp as well and guys they even have vacuum cleaners and microwaves. So I really hope you enjoyed this overview and did you actually know that Sharp has so many products and which of them you found interesting? Write it down below in the comments and as always I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. Have a nice day and bye.